Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News, on iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, I've been holding my tongue on this 50 cent Floyd Mayweather can he read controversy right I've thought long and hard about whether I even want to make this video because the subject is that upsetting to me right I think it's ridiculous I think there's folklore when you're from a humble background that everyone who has made it has the same set of skills right you know it's the idea that you can't make it unless you can do a b c and d right but if you ever hang around very successful people you're gonna realize that we all have different skills that the world is diverse that the folklore you're being sold let's say as a working class person is folklore it has holes in it right so let me just say this I don't want to get too deep here but before this whole controversy broke did you ever care whether Picasso could read did you ever care about whether Vincent van Gogh could read right let me just point out that there are many famous people who you associate with brilliance who have problems reading right this is not to suggest that Floyd Mayweather has problems reading right but the point is simply this if I read to you the list of people who have dyslexia you'd be astonished right astonished if you go to dyslexia.com, you're going to find out that Albert Einstein had dyslexia. You're going to find out that Thomas Edison had dyslexia. You would find out that Picasso, who I mentioned earlier, has dyslexia. There are many billionaires right now out there who have dyslexia. Right? Richard Branson, a personal hero of mine he has dyslexia right so what fascinates me with the 50 cent Floyd Mayweather situation right 50 cent daring Mayweather to read on national TV and uh, offering seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to his charity if he can read a page from Harry Potter you know what it's pathetic what fascinates me is the agenda Right? Is 50 Cent making himself feel better by accusing other people of being unable to read? Did you know that Robin Williams, the brilliant comic who recently passed, did you know that he has dyslexia, according to dyslexia.com? Right? Is that supposed to be a laughing matter? Is that supposed to be the kind of thing we ridicule other people about? right who's 50 cent gonna ridicule next Richard Branson Robin Williams estate why is this even viewed as entertaining or remotely funny right the whole thing's ridiculous what are we supposed to do laugh at people who have problems reading is that supposed to be where all of this is headed are we supposed to frown on people who are very successful very successful simply because they can't read like a news anchor the whole thing's ridiculous I um, you know I'm a big fan of self-made people I'm a big fan of both 50 and Floyd but 50's out of line here in fact quite frankly he should be pitied here for his stupidity in thinking that ridiculing 
another person over their reading skills is even funny should even be topical among the rest of us let me just say people know I'm a lawyer the best lawyer I know of right when this guy is on TV I make a note of it he's argued some of the biggest cases in American history David Boyce he's dyslexic because he's dyslexic he has to see the big picture when he goes into court he doesn't even read notes he has to have things memorized he's a brilliant orator he's brilliant in making his argument understandable not just to the bench but to the public looking in right let me just say because of his dyslexia who knows maybe he wouldn't even be able to satisfy 50 cents challenge but what exactly would that mean that he's stupid that he's unworthy that he's less than 50 cent pathetic I'm gonna throw a red flag on 50 cent really you know it's sad when a brother overreaches this much right 50 cent in my opinion not only owes Floyd Mayweather an apology he owes the rest of us an apology let me hear from you leave your comments for me here online visit us at gamblersadvisory.com thanks for stopping by